Yeah, he's actually wearing an expert again. Like some people are literally dying on the street. Why is this actually possible? Why is the society so cruel that it does allow them to live on a street, to sleep on a street, and to die on a street? Why isn't like everybody's having a shelter or everybody is somehow helped? Even if, uh, particularly if people are really suffering and their life is really tremendously painful. Um, I mean painful in both ways, like psychological and uh, physical. Why is it this, uh, that we're not allowed to decide about our own death and their life? And why isn't it that the doctors are so filled with compassion that, I just, that they're just putting these people, you know, letting them go to Nirvana paradise, or the way you call it. So I mean that these people are able to die peacefully and uh, don't have to continue this life filled with struggles for you know for every day and every night and this is really bad and uh, this is one photo or one person I just saw in Amsterdam I mean this looks so tragic and so so sad and we're in the 21st century why is that actually possible why isn't it that for example, some social houses open for everyone are built and you don't have to beg for him like if you're having social aid for, from your government but you're just able to walk in there and to, um, you know, have your life shared with another um, people who are some have facing some troubles. Uh, I saw something like that in Geneva in Switzerland, it's called uh, it is some kind of an expo project and uh, I think this is like to support a lot of uh, immigrants and support a lot of families who are in financial trouble. So why is something like this is not, uh, you know, built everywhere in the world and uh, literally it's saving the lives of a lot of people or just deciding about the lives of people in a very, very um, compassionate way. Not competitive, but compassionate. Okay, I love you a lot.